Big shout out to Best Reality Blog on Instagram for the following information. So there's a conversation between Monique Slaughter and Tiffany, excuse me, allegedly between Monique and Tiffany Campbell. So Monique allegedly said, what's the purpose of talking shit? I'm confused. And Tiffany allegedly said, I talk shit when? To which Monique allegedly replied, you just posted an hour ago, Tiff. And then Tiff allegedly said, I said exactly what it was. That's not talking shit. So Moniz allegedly said, I know me and AD aren't together. She's hurt. I'm hurt. It was real, but I don't feel like fighting with either of you. I said I move on peacefully with you, and that's not what it was. I'm not jumping around like a circus animal knowing security's never going to let it happen. I just want to get through my last season without unnecessary drama created by the show that doesn't exist in real life. To which Tiffany allegedly said, you have dragged AD on social media since your breakup. To which Monique allegedly said, she did the same to me. And as usual, I post a response and I'm the bad guy. Like I always say, people see Mo's reactions and then they want to get on her. But they don't see what anybody has ever done to her. But back to these messages. And as usual, I post a response and I'm the bad guy. I deleted mine. She deleted hers. We don't speak. I won't keep Cam from her. And that's all there is. She told me you guys filmed. She told me you and Peter followed her. She didn't follow back because she couldn't trust you even after we met for dinner. And she didn't start following you until we broke up. Bottom line. Who the hell is Peter? Somebody let me know in the comments. So Best Reality Block said... AD's on and off best friend and apparently Little Fizz's ex. Wait a second. Tiffany and Little Fizz aren't together anymore? Anyways. And apparently Little Fizz Little Fizz's ex at the real Tiffany Campbell just posted screenshots of dozens of messages between her and Moniz via direct message. And the only thing I got out of all those messages <laughs> was that this is at Moniz underscore slaughters last season. With a bunch of laughing, crying emojis, forehead slapping emoji, hashtag love and hip hop, hashtag love and hip hop, hashtag rather love and hip hop Hollywood, hashtag love and hip hop, hashtag love and hip hop Hollywood, hashtag love and hip hop Hollywood, hashtag reality TV, hashtag Monique Slaughter, hashtag you damn right I read all those hashtags. If you don't like it, get the hashtag fuck up off my channel. Niglets, listen, man. Now, let me explain something to y'all. Tiffany Campbell is one of the finest women I've ever seen in my damn life. Monique. One of the most finest women I've ever seen in my life. And if he'd wanted to want a baby, like we, okay, that's never going to happen. The point is this, man. These two beautiful goddesses should never have any sort of issue with each other. You know, ladies, never ruin your pretty. Could you imagine if these two powerful, beautiful, melanated goddesses were friends with each other as opposed to beefing with each other? What are they beefing over again? Wasn't it like words between them because... You know, Tiffany and A.D., which is Monisa's ex-girlfriend now, they're like best friends or whatever, or at least were, as far as I know. And Monisa may have said a few things about Tiffany, and Tiffany may have said a few things about Monisa. So they said a few things about each other, basically. And, you know, they're mad about this. Come on, man. People, listen, y'all had y'all own opinions about each other, and some of them were negative because... Maybe you guys aren't compatible as far as like a relationship is concerned or ever being best friends. But I'm sure you guys can be at least be cool. Look at you. You guys had an argument and that was one of the most damn peaceful arguments I've ever seen. That was one of the lightest fights I have ever seen between two reality TV stars. The fact that you guys were so level headed in that conversation is proof that you're, you're meant to be friends. Let cooler heads prevail. Show your sister some love. And all right, y'all. That's all I got for y'all. Y'all know I want to see these beautiful women uh, be friends. You know, that's my goal is to bring the beautiful women together and to help them see the light. And the light is y'all need to show each other some love. And <sighs> Monice wants out. She wants out of her contract. What do you guys think about the beef between Monice and Tiffany Campbell? Do you think it's worth it? Are they as fine as I say they are? They are, right? Wink, wink. I know they are. And what do you guys think about 
Moniece, unfortunately, wanted to leave Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. I hope she's going to go do some other show because I, I can't function without my Moniece for at least a few months out of the year. Uh, I'm talking about on TV because I'm going to be on her social media stalking. I mean, on her social media, looking at what she's doing and admiring. Listen, man. Moniece is everything. Tiffany's everything. These are two fine women that I, I I do not I don't want to see this go down anymore. This is just a waste of pretty. I told y'all this that goddamn Whoopi Ghost, the ghost of Whoopi Goldberg, has now crawled up in people's buttholes and got people acting absolutely crazy. There's a hashtag war on pretty. If you listen, I have a whole playlist of videos, hundreds of videos, and I told y'all nigglets. If you use the hashtag on YouTube, hashtag war on pretty, I started that and I, I'm trying to tell y'all that it's real. Alright y'all, let me know what you think about all of this foolishness below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit Meat Magazine, not blocks by the com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Be sure to hit the notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. Looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts and you'll be notified when new videos get posted. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify. Share this video on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, two cans with a string in the middle telepathically. That way everybody will get to see it and I'll get everybody's opinion on the matter. Whose side are you on? Tiffany, Moniece, Me Magazine, AD, the Whoopi Ghost. Whose side are you on, Jesus? I hope that these ladies can get it together. Shout out to AD. She seems cool as hell. Don't know much about her other than she had, she wears some really fly sneakers and she was able to capture Moniece's heart and she's best friends with Tiffany Campbell. So, hey, sounds like a cool chick to me. All right, y'all. I got to go. Me Magazine. Oh, before I go, are you upset like me that Moniece may be, well, looks like she is leaving Love & Hip Hop? It's not going to be the same without her. She's been there, what, five seasons, right? But if she feels like that's what she needs to do, if she feels like that's what's best for her, I support her decision. I'll be right there on her social media looking at everything she does and just with my hand on my head, you know, like, like when I look at Portia, I'm going to be just like that. I'll be like, look at my Momo. And you see how I can mention Portia's name in any video. Gots to go. I really got to go now. I don't embarrass myself.